Well, the lilacs are in bloom right now at the Bellamy Faraday House in Bethlehem, but that's not the only reason you should visit the little town. Absolutely. Marcy Jones is there live to show us a little bit of the history you and your family could learn on a visit there. Marcy, how you doing? That's right. I'm having a fabulous morning. I'm doing a little shopping here in the gift shop. I just saw the gardens with you guys. It's absolutely gorgeous and a lot to learn. So much fun to be had here. I'm here with my new friend Peg, who's keeping me laughing in between our segments. Oh, good morning. What's going on? Good morning. Thanks so much for being here. We're having such fun with you guys. Oh, we really are. I think, you know, Meredith over here wants to be a journalist. We could switch bots. She could take my job. I could work at Bellamy Faraday for a little bit. It'll be a great switch. What do we have going on here in your fabulous gift shop? Well, um, obviously the books of Martha Hall Kelly um, yes. are a very popular draw here. So we have all four of them. Um, all of our hard copies are signed by the author. So. And for somebody who missed the memo, give us a little rundown on why Lilac Girls is so special to Bellamy Faraday. So um, Lilac Girls is Martha Hall Kelly's first book. Um, and it deals with the story of Caroline Faraday and her efforts to help a group of women who were um, in tortured actually um, in a concentration camp and helping them in their recovery mm -hmm. and she actually brought four of the women um, here to this property and they stayed here during their convalescence after the war so it's a really moving story yes. um, about women empowered strengths um, it's very inspirational it um, a very it, human story yes mm -hmm. and it's one of you know it's a story about women during the Second World War which quite often most of the stories are about men in the Second yes. World War so it's not Nice to hear a story about a. We you know, like our stories. Yes, <laughs> her stories. Yes, and you can see the gorgeous lilacs all around the property right, right now. The smell is intoxicating. They are. There, um, we have 15 different kinds of lilacs no around the property. Yes, way. Peg. 15 I different. I only saw one varietal outside. We gotta go. That's Keep incredible. Going. So there are 15 different kinds of lilacs. They're absolutely gorgeous. They typically bloom um, mid-May. Mm -hmm. So we're kind of winding down. But that's okay if you miss the lilacs this year. Come back next year. Yes. But show up. The roses are just starting. Mm -hmm. um, and, and those were Caroline's favorites. You Caroline's said? passion was roses. Um, and then, of course, we have this stunning peony collection yes. that um, there is no word to describe. I know. You just... Big and beautiful. Uh, yeah, there's... They look like they're laughing because they're so much more gorgeous than all of us. <laughs> they're, yeah, they're <laughs> stunning. Um, unbelievable. So do come and see the peonies. And, of course... The garden is constantly changing. It is I know, a, I love that. It's a four-season garden. They're the formal parterre. You know, there's a lot of plants in there that you don't see elsewhere. Right. So even if you've come before, come again, because yeah. something inevitably has changed. Right. Let's show um, a few other of the gorgeous items that you have out here. You've got something for everyone. Yes. Um, we have um, we have a lot of books about, um, obviously, gardening. gardening. Yeah. We have books about, um, other books about mm -hmm. World War II. The, um, Martha's other um, stories, Lost Roses, Sunflower Sisters, which take us back into Caroline's mm -hmm. family in um, another ge another generation. Fantastic. We also have this gorgeous stationery. Mm -hmm. I love all of these gardening books. And these framed pictures are lovely. Yes, so those are actually the lilacs that are here on the property. The framed photos are available for sale. Um, Amazing. Um, the the stationery, too, is done by a local artist. Um, I love that you guys support local. That's very important to you. You're telling me about the buddies program that you have for people to come in and help with some of the landscaping. Yeah, I we love have that. A, we have a garden buddies group that's supported by the Wa Watertown Garden Club, and they come every Friday and help us keep our weeds under control. You guys should all come every Friday. It's so much fun. A lot to see here. Come say hi to Peg and Meredith. You will not regret it. You're going to have a great time. Thank you so much. We had a blast yeah. this morning. Guys, Thank sending you. it back to you. Marcy, one of the best books I ever read. <laughs> The best books I ever read, Lilac oh, Girls. So Scott said it's one of the best books he's ever read, Lilac Girls. Oh, well, yay. Yay. <laughs> yay. I'd love to hear that. All right, thanks, Mars. We'll see you in a bit. Thanks, Marcy. Hey,